Hi everyone, welcome to my home. Um, I am Melissa Neely, I'm with Neely's Needle Nest, and this is my floss tube channel. It is July 29th, um, evening time about 6 p.m. And this is my second time recording, because I guess the first time it was stopped recording and it's not recording anymore, so I'm starting again. So I'm glad I realized it before it was totally done. But um, if you're here and you don't know how you're here, I'm a cross stitch floss tuber and we show things that we are cross stitching, things that we are finishing and how we're finishing it. And just across the um, board and across the world, everybody's doing the floss tubes and watching them. Um, it's fun to watch them from overseas and see all the different things that people are doing and what they are stitching. Um, please like my channel, uh, subscribe to my channel so that you know when I have another one coming up and share my channel for, with those around you and your friends. So let's see, what have I been doing this summer? I've been off for two months. Um, I am administrator for testing at a high school here in the county and it's only a 10 month job so I get the summers off, So which, which has really been nice. Um, so. Since I'm off for two months, I don't get paid for two months. <laughs> it really makes you stitch all the time, so you're not going out and spending money all the time. So I've been stitching a lot and getting things done and getting ready to go back to school next week. I can't believe it. A week from Tuesday, I start back. I can't believe it's been that long. <laughs> so what have I been doing since StitchCon? Um, I had a retreat sometime in there with Prixie Stitchers. I had an EGA and an EGA class. And I got together with some friends stitching, doing all kinds of stuff. I'm getting ready to go f stitch with friends this week, tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday is my birthday, so I'm going to go and I'm going to stitch with them and come back on Wednesday. So that would be fun. Um, one of the EGA classes I took this summer was a needlepoint class. So i did this needlepoint class because i just want to see what it's about and i liked it. it was small and i'm like i can learn on this one it's small and it's a class done by jean ann sleeman i think that's how you say her last name and it was stocking stuffer a needle bug canvas there's her name guide by jean ann sleeman she adapted ours and made it more square we wanted it smaller to fit on a box that we like to do they the group likes to do. So here's what I did. In my start, I still have a lot to go. <laughs> but I will finish him. He's so cute. So I did that at an EGA class. And it has lots of fibers in this. Look at all the fibers. This is my tax for my canvas. all kinds of fibers for that so I did that class um, and the rest of the summer I've just been stitching so I'm going to show you some things I've been stitching some of my whips so here's a whip I'm doing I'm doing this whip um, it's I stitch amethyst band um, it's through I think our first name's Carol Carol Ridyard and over she's from overseas so um, we're doing this band. You get a you get a section out of it every week, every Friday, and you start it. I'm only through gotten through week 12, and there's 26 weeks, and we're almost done. So I'm way behind. But I love this. Look at the look at the amethyst. Look, can you see it? There goes my laundry. My laundry's done. It's like an amethyst lavender. So here's mine. Here's where I'm at. I'm doing all my initials, Melissa, Neely, my middle name is Gail, all in a different color. And it's one over one. And I can't tell you what this count is. I want to think it's like 40. Um, in, the, in the pattern, since it's not from my country, it's another number and I don't know, I don't know what the count is on this. I'm pretty sure it's 40, one over one. It's small. So that's been an experience because I've never done one on one. I am using silks. I'm using some silks I had. And actually, I had these silks from when I did um, 
Miss Christmas Eve Mirabilia, Miss Christmas Eve. Believe it or not, her dress, even though it's very red when you look at it, has a lot of purple in it. You wouldn't even know it unless you looked at it real close. And so these flosses were in that, and so I'm using them for this too. Water lilies, grape. Water lilies, grape. I love it in the variegation. Then I'm using water lilies, African violet. And then I'm using, that's it, those two colors. Oh no, that is not it. Victoria Motto. It's not a silk for when I want some dark. This is called Deepest Blue, but it's really purple. It looks blue on there. It's really funny how it looks so blue. Because when you look at it, it's, it's really dark purple. And it's even named blue like it's blue, but to me it looks purple. So I'm using it on it. It looks purple with everything else too. So that's been fun. And I really want to work on this this week. I've been thinking about getting this out to do some of this this week. Something else I'm working on is... I keep looking to make sure this is recording this time. Um, Dreaming of Sunflowers. I started this at Brick City Stitchers. This is Rosewood Manor. Dreaming of Sunflowers. I'm just doing it on a antique white. And it is 32 count. I love this. The colors in it. It reminds me of Kansas. When I lived in Kansas, I got married had babies in Kansas. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is that not pretty? All the different sunflowers. So working on that with the call for colors. I'm going to get that back out too. That's been fun too. I'm going to get it done. Then I started this at Stitch Con because, mainly because it's two color. Well, it's one color, the pattern, but I'm choosing to do it in actually three colors. I just don't have three colors on it yet. But it's Long Dog Sampler Crossword. Long Dog Sampler crossword see how it's all black so I'm doing mine on I'm using so I contact silks for you I contacted they're from Australia I believe and she sells silk by the Hank I mean they're big old rolls of silk but I contacted her and I said would you give me a half a Hank of this color and she said sure and so when you get it it's all together I cut it up and put it in little batches like this but it is so pretty. And her colors are by number. So I don't recall what number this color was. But I love it. It's like a burgundy red. And then I'm using Loriana. Indian ink. India ink. Black, basically. And then when I do the letters on this, I'm going to use this, ooh, I just realized this is coming undone, Treasure Braid, just in case you want to know, it's PB03, PB03, it's like there's a darker gold, a medium gold, and a light gold, and this is like the medium gold. I'm going to do the letters in this and probably outline them, the letters in black, so they'll pop better. But here's where I am, where I've started. Oh my goodness. I started at StitchCon and I did all across the top. The rest I did after StitchCon. I realized I did a Michelle Bendy. Michelle, sorry, I thought of you. And I got my fabric the wrong direction. So I was anxious to see how close this was going to end up being. It's not too bad. I think my framer can work with that. 
so I'm just got, then I came home and I did all the rest of the boxes since I had a orientation of where I was <coughs> and was able to get those all done now I'll fill in all the rest of the red and then put the letters in anxious to get back to that I'll probably work on that tomorrow when I'm with the my friends stitching so that's long dog samplers crosswords crossword Let's see. I'm finishing a Biscorn new. This Saturday is my EGA. And we are doing a class. I gotta get a drink. Sorry, everybody. Um, on Biscorn news and how to put them together. So, I'm trying to get mine done. So, I'm ready for it on Saturday. And I'm almost done with the top. And I bought patterns from this gal before. She's Fireplot, Fireplace Hobby. Her name's Trina... And I think you say her name, Mastakova. And I think this one's brand new because I just bought it. I hadn't seen it before. But look, pineapple biscornu. Look at that pineapple. You'll see it better when I show you mine. So here's mine. Isn't that cute? I love it. I have beads on part of the pineapples. I gotta do the rest and then I'm done with the top. Let me show you what colors I use because it's, mo it's mostly Victoria Motto. My first color is sunflower yellow. My next color is glow in the dark which is kind of a green yellow. I use this a lot of, with um, Halloween patterns especially like Frankenstein's face I use this and then this orange peel Victoria Mono orange peel I don't like how my thing doesn't really focus maybe I have to go right here this orange this is very variegated and then this is the color that the beads would be if I didn't use beads which was a timber old timber I love this color it's so pretty so my beads basically are the same color as this, and I'm using this to put the beads on. So that's my pineapple biscornu. I just got to do the back and put the four leaves on the back, and then that'll be done. Oh, and I'm using DMC Christmas Green for the green. So that's my biscornu I'm getting ready to do on this Saturday. Yeah, let's see everything else is stuff that I'm mostly done with it might lack some beads and stuff but mostly done on these so the very first thing I finished this summer was ships manners celebrate I love that picture and then this this new is the one I did for Pam um, just to keep stitching gave it to her at StitchCon. I changed hers so putting hearts where there were hearts, I put a whale in there, and then I had water spouting out of its spout and cream it colors. It was really cute. I'm probably going to have to do another one for me. I liked it so much. So here's my pattern. I haven't done, not the Biscorn new, but the picture. Celebrate. This is on DeBloom. Uh, what count? 28 count hand dyed DeBloom. I love it. It's so cute. It's got Kreenik all in those fireworks up there. And on the bottom. Across the bottom. I got that done. So I got to think of a way I want to finish that. Ship's Manor Celebrate is what that's called. Okay. And then I finished um, my third drum pillow from Hands On Design from last year. I'm doing them this year. Um, I did the Harvest one. It's the one I'm on. Live Within Your Harvest. And then there's my velveteen to put on the top of the drum. The top of the drum right here. And then I got my pens, and here it is done. I love this. I love the sunflowers. 
<clears throat> so I'll, I'm doing trying to do all of hers with the call four colors except on this one I did change the purple the lavender it's a Victoria motto lavender it's so pretty and variegated so I wanted to use it that's the drum and then here's the pillow isn't it cute I just have the back stitch to do on the apples I realized that in the middles of the sunflowers if they I don't think they have a middle now I think about it I'm gonna look at the other one nope they don't so I just had the back stitch to do on that that pillow then I'm done with that one so I have three of those done I gotta finish three more by the end of the year then my other finish yay is my stocking Stony Creek last year 2018 summer the holiday issue I finished my names on it and everything I love it I love it I love it look at this light house is that not pretty I love it oh my gosh all the back stitching that back stitching took me like three days because I did it at the end I like to do it at the end I love it I cannot wait to finish it there is a lady at the cross stitch store stitch and time in Jacksonville who does stocking finishes so I'm anxious to get that into them and get that done and then my other last finish lately <laughs> was from this book Renalto Perlin Perlin I think it's for, actually I think it's Italian and it's all in Italian I did look up most of the titles to see what they were meant so here's the one I did oh man here's one I want to do I'm gonna show you this one I think this is gonna be my next one this is what I'm doing out here next um, I should do a show through for you oh they're so pretty Oh, where's the one I'm doing? Here, or the one I did. So this was on a banding with those cute little squirrels. I didn't like those lightish colored squirrels. They didn't have banding, so I chose, I went back a couple pages, and I picked this border to put the tree in. So I'll show you my finished one. I use mostly Victoria Motto, if not all, colors. I'll show you what colors of hers I used. I should get those all out. Okay, here it is. <coughs> and I'm not real happy with my squirrels. To me, they turned out orange, even though I did a floss toss and showed several. It looked like it would be the right color. I think they're too orange. Didn't like the tan. I don't know that I like the orange either. So I even outlined the squirrels to help them maybe look better. So we'll see. I may take coffee tea dye just a little bit like a Q-tip and swab it on and kind of antique them. What do you all think? Tell me what I should do about my squirrel that doesn't require pulling out the color. So what do you think about me doing what I said with the coffee tea dye and Q-tipping it? Uh, that's kind of scary but I love this border this border was so fun and so fun it's so pretty so here's the colors I used on this this has got to be my one of my favorite reds which basically it's pretty close to actually I don't think all the colors are here they're not all here sorry but it's basically the red that goes around the edge would be a demon DNC 498 so I use this. My friend and I bought this pack from Victoria Motto and then split it. So this was Let Freedom Ring. Oh, this is it. This is it. 498. It's like DMC 498, but Victoria Motto. So that's what that whole border is. Used Amber Wave, which is close to DMC 428. Blue for some presents on there. 
I don't even have brown in here. I don't have all the colors, sorry. But some of these blue, this blue is what I'm going to use the snowflakes. That's the last thing I have to do on this is put all the snowflakes everywhere. I'm using this clear blue sky. And some white, maybe grits. Weeks Dye Works grits to do all the snowflakes. So that's that. Mostly done. Just got to do the snowflakes. And the snowflakes basically fill in the rest of this. And this color in here makes this look like it's on a tan, but it is on golden. It's like golden. Maybe that's better. It's gold. Like when you look at it, when I look at it, it's gold. It's not tan or brown. It's gold. And it's um, color of cotton's gold. It's golden is in the name of that color and cotton fabric. I really like it. Uh, my last finish. Actually, I have another finish. It wasn't my last finish, but it was recently. So this one. Summer Delivery. I finished. See that? Summer Delivery. Oh my gosh. Plum Street Samplers Summer Delivery. I love this so much. I cannot wait to put it in my bathroom. It's all patriotic. I cannot wait to put it in there. Get it framed and put it in. I did on fabric I dyed. The fabric is coffee tea dyed. Soaked for a while. Took it out. Scrunched it up in a Pyrex dish. Put it in the oven. Let it marbleize basically. Get some little burnt pieces, edges on it. Took it out. Still wanted a little. I thought I'm going to put some of this. I had some writ dye that's called like harvest orange it's kind of an orangey red and I kind of splot it on there I ac actually I wet it again splotted some of that on it put it back in the oven scrunched it up put it back in the oven and got this color whoops how about putting it right side up I'll show you the whole thing so you see all the colors hopefully there's some red splotches on there you might not be able to see them here's the back you want to see how my backs look when I'm done So I liked the colors on the front, so I used them. I love this, that horse, oh my goodness. All those stars, I love doing them. The flag. So, I'll show you in a minute what I got in stash that's similar. So that's all the, of my whips, all of my finishes and stuff. Then I'm gonna show you some of my, oh, haul. Before I show you my haul, I wanted to show you another piece of fabric that I dyed. Oh my goodness. So, here's, it's a Hobby Lobby 28 Even Weave Artiste, whatever, and it's Zweigart. So, this thing I dyed like three times to get a color I wanted. Because I wanted a dark red. And then the second time, I kind of got my color, but I didn't like the marbly that I did to it. So then I got a smaller container, scrunched it up more, put in red again. Oh my goodness, this color. I love this color. I don't know, maybe I'll put my stitch con cross stitch on here. You know, the word stitch con in white. Oh, look at this color. It kind of looks red in there. I mean, it's not as white marbly to me. It's, let me go backwards. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love this. Let me show the other side. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't wait to do something on this. This is so fun to dye and play with. I'm getting ready to play with some more dye. I want to get some something gray to put to do my Uncle Sam on the new Uncle Sam that came back, the stand-up one. I want to do something gray with red and blue subtle red and blue on it I'm gonna do it I'll show you it when I get it done I'll put that away later okay so my haul that I've gotten I've got some of this dinky dye wizard it's purple to do some of my Halloween stuff on or to use like around the edge of the pillow and then I got this Halloween magazine. And I 
know some of you have already seen it and already seen some walkthroughs through it. Then I um, subscribed to the Primitive Needlepoint. Oh gosh. Punch Needle and Primitive. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, magazine by Digital. And so I printed off this one that I want to do. Santa knows your heart. That's true. So he's bringing wool for you. I love it. I'm going to do that one. That is designed by Teresa Kogert. Kogut, I mean. Uh, then I got some stuff on Stash on Load. December. Prairie School or December. Prairie School or Village Green. And then I bought Tiny Modernist Summer Signs. Aren't they cute? I cannot wait to do these. My cousins just moved down here to Palm Coast and the outside of their house is painted those two colors. Coral and Caribbean Blue. They don't match her house. I probably need to do some of those for her. They also match my house. That's why I bought them. Then I bought just like the one I just did, Summer Harvest. Wait, summer delivery, harvest delivery. And I can't wait to do this. I'm probably going to use a bunch of Victoria Motto threads. And I'll let you know about that. Because there's something coming up I want to do about that. And I'll let you know about that in a future video. Then, um, I've always wanted to do these. But I never bought the patterns. You know how you like, you know you want to do them. But you know you're not going to do them now. But you know you want them. Because you're going to do them eventually. And then you hear they're going to go out of stock. And so you start getting them. Well, I couldn't get the first one, Eleanor Rigby, and it's a, it's a series of five cross stitches that um, are around the Beatles songs. <coughs> I have a music room here. Basically, this is my music area room. I've got an upright piano right here. Very old piano, probably from the early 1900s, maybe 1904. I might, I've looked it up before. I can't remember. Um, still works, still plays got some motif kind of things on the front of it that I've already had my daughter I took a picture of it and she drew up something I'm gonna try to probably do a cross stitch using that motif um, so I thought about putting these they will go in this room when I get them done I also have the Silver Creek sampler um, do re mi fa so la ti do that I'm gonna do and change the colors all on that and get it done I've had it for years and haven't done it so I'm anxious to get that done now but I did manage to get three of these. I got Strawberry Fields, Blackbird Design, Strawberry Fields, Silver Needle. I, I went on their line. They had five of them. I ordered five of them. I paid for five of them. I got three. Three are on back, two are on back order. And one of the ones on back order is Octopus Garden, which of course I've heard since I ordered that it was going out of print. So I hope I'm getting it. It's back order. I do know someone that has it. She contacted me. So, if I don't get it, I'm going to borrow it from her and send it back to her. I really want my own copy, so if you all know about it, let me know. And then Yellow Submarine. So, this one was Blackbird. And then Yellow Submarine. It's so cute. I also went to a <coughs> stitch gathering this last weekend with Susan Greening Davis and Claire Nardo. Nardone. Is that how you say your name, Claire? I just, like, stumbled on it. I guess I've never actually said it. I always see it. So let me know if I said it wrong. Hi, Claire. Hi, Susan. But uh, Susan brought a trunk show, and she had just been overseas into the Netherlands. And she went to a shop there, and they let her bring some of their models back and some of their books and the models. Oh, my goodness. They were bands. They're, like, this way, like... They're not little bands. They were this band, wide bands. I would say 10 inches, 10, 12 inches long, like three or four feet of bands of stitched banding. And um, their colors are red and blue, bright red and blue. Just basically crayon red and crayon blue. And then they had some that weren't banding, but maybe two feet by three or four feet that kind of look like patchwork quilts. So I bought... 2017 everything's in Dutch so I can't read anything I can't even read the sizes and what I need 
But Susan's going to help me on the banding and what I need on the next one I'm showing you. This one's just a piece of fabric that I'll figure out. But all these little motifs, oh my goodness. I loved the color. I just loved it. Mm, I love that. And then I bought 2018, which is a band. You can see how wide they are. Maybe you can imagine how wide they are looking at these. But I just love this red and blue. And the models. I mean, the models sold it. So I can't wait to do those. Uh, some other stash I got. So I did Silks for You um, grab bag. She put a, a message out there, <coughs> I think on the Facebook group, I can't remember now, that she was going to do some silk grab bags for $50. If you want in, one, in on one, let her know. So I said, yes, I want in one on one. Well, I just got my silk this week. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm saying these are half hank. So you'll know what a half hank looks like before I over a full hank because this looks like about what I got when I asked for a half hank look at this it's green I don't know if you can see it looks more blue green there but it is green green I'm going to put it up to my cup can you see it still looks blue it's green <laughs> almost emerald green it's so pretty I think I'm going to use this on and I'm, I'm not going to show you all my silk because I wanted to show you this. So I'm doing the stitch along, no, the round robin that Cheryl's doing with Tranquil Stitches. She has three groups that are doing this. And we're doing this. Ackworth Friendship Book. A token friendship. It has ten pages that, that zigzag closes. And there's eight in a group. So we're each doing the front and back. Like I'm doing my front and back. And then my friends in my group are doing all the other pages. So we're sending our fabric to Cheryl. And our floss. And she's going to make sure it gets moved along. So I'm anxious to see how that works. And see if it will work well. But So I got that green. So I'm thinking about maybe using this on that book. Now i got to figure out what kind of... Um, fabric I'm going to do that on. So I'm going to put that in here in case I do use that one for this. And then I got this color. So this is like, like I said, I think this is a half a hank. This is kind of the right color. It's kind of a golden brown. So then we got all these colors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at it. Of the variegation, the different things. Got that. Got this, like a mauvey color. Got this purple. Brown. My squirrel might be. That might be a good color for my squirrel. I just don't want to pull it out. <laughs> I don't want to frog it. Look at this rainbow. Isn't that pretty? And then some in a baggie too. I don't even want to take them out. They're so pretty in the bag. Maybe I can show you without taking them out. Oh, no. You're going to want to see them. Gray. Green and blue. Like a dark mulberry. Like mulberry and green. Greenish tan. Like reminds me of tea leaf. Kind of a charcoal color. Another purpley one. Gold. Another purpley one. Cream green gray another purpley one and then like pink and blue and then kind of a peacocky one 
don't know if you can see all those colors. I don't think you can. Then this one is like a ocean blue. They're so pretty. All for $50. I thought that was good. And I will definitely use all these silks. They're so pretty. I think I'll put those in there. I'm going to take these tomorrow to show everybody. So that's what I'm doing. Probably this green. I'm thinking silk on that friendship book. Then I want to show you what I found at a thrift shop. Oh man, I gotta show you another video. Video. I keep forgetting to bring it out to show you something else I got at a thrift shop, shop like three years ago. I gotta show y'all. Okay, so I was at there's a hospice thrift shop right next door to my um, LNS in Ocala, Florida. That's Brick City Stitcher, and they had these Hummel kids. Oh my gosh. Aren't they pretty? They were six dollars. This was six dollars. It's already framed. This was done in 1997. That's what it says on the back. And here's a little boy. You've probably seen them before. They are done on Ada. You see my light shining? I have a special light. I had that when I used to sell LuLaRoe. See the little boy? They're really stitched nicely. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet. I just had to save them. So, that is what I have for you all today. Um, let me, I want to share something with you. Oh, wait, let me put this away. So, I always like to end my um, video with something inspirational or something, you know, that I've learned. I'm, I work in women's ministry at my church, and I love to um, do women's Bible studies and stuff like that. So, I'm always reading stuff and seeing things. So, here's what I want to share with you today. So, um, here's the little quote. When morning breaks, it breaks all the mistakes of yesterday. So it breaks right through all the um, dome of dark that even happened yesterday. Or didn't happen yesterday, but if there was something yucky that happened yesterday, you know, when you wake up in the morning, it's a new beginning, a new day. Um, so all the fresh mercies can flood in in the morning. So um, there's always a saying that um, God's mercies happen in the morning. You know, his, nurse, his mercies are renewed every morning. So even though there's something yucky maybe the day before. So, um, yesterday's packed away with grace. Today is a fresh day with fresh hope, fresh pop possibilities, and a new you. Um, a new falling in love with God. A new refrain playing on gentle repeat in our head. We're sticking with you, God. So when the things are happening that are hard or just had a bad day at work the day before, the next morning when you wake up, say, okay, God, this is a new day. And I'm sticking with you. Um, when morning breaks, it breaks all the mistakes of yesterday. Breaks right through the dome of dark. So all his fresh mercies can flood in. Thanks for joining me. Um, see you again soon. Um, I should be doing another video on Sunday. So watch for it. See ya. And thanks for coming. Bye.